I think most of you are familiar with Classics for All. I mean, its sole purpose is to increase the teaching of classics in state schools and stem the decline. Over the years, there's a big disparity between the amount of classics taught in the independent sector and the state sector. Since we first started 10 years ago on our impossible mission, we have worked with 1,200 schools, trained 5,000 teachers, largely non-specialists, to teach classics in the state system. And I think that's an incredible achievement with a, a staff of about five and regional <laughs> coordinators across the country. And why do we do this? For some of the reasons outlined tonight. It's a noble discipline, it's rich, it's wide, it breaks down barriers, it stimulates the imagination. And a lot of our young people are now so motivated by learning classics that they are going on to Oxford and Cambridge and studying classics there and 10 years ago they wouldn't have been in that position. We survive on a shoestring. We, we, uh, we, we raise funding you know, year by year to continue what we're doing. And Harley Aston, who's here with me tonight, is an aspiring head of classics. Yes. And you'll find out in a minute why. Um, who, move, who works at Hemel Hempstead School in Hertfordshire, which is a large comprehensive school. So Harley, um, you moved to Hemel in 2000. Did the school have any classics when you went there? No, when I first started teaching, there was no classics at the school at all. Yeah, so what motivated you? Are you a classicist yourself? I have a degree in archaeology, um, but my background, I didn't have any exposure to classics, unfortunately, at all. I reached my A-levels because I wasn't considered smart enough to be allowed to study Latin when I first started secondary school, so I didn't get a place in the class. Boo, yes. Um, so when I had the opportunity to study at A-level, I took it on a whim and ended up loving it so much that I knew that as I went forward in my teaching career, I wanted to offer the same opportunities to learn it to students that I would be teaching. So with your archaeology degree, what were you teaching to start with? I was a history teacher. I'm a trained history teacher. Right. Yeah. So, so lots of Nazis and uh, Cold War. Lessons. Nazi and Cold War are not as rich as the Iliad or Homer or no, anything? No, 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 unfortunately not. Okay. So you move schools. I, I gather you failed in your first school to persuade the head to do classics. So you yes. moved to Hemel. Um, and miraculously, after three months, you managed to introduce ancient history A-level. How the heck did you do that? What powers of persuasion have you got and why is it important? Uh, dogged persistence. Um, right. they, I approached the head of our sick form. I asked if it was something I could offer at the open day and if there was enough interest, would I be allowed to set it up? I got lots of ums and ahs. And then as soon as I mentioned that Classics for All would be willing to help us with grants and training, suddenly leadership ears perked up and I was allowed to pursue interests. And now we've been running it for three years now. How many pupils have you got at A-level? So currently studying at A-level, we have a around, I think it's between around 16, 17 students at A-level. Um, we've just had one class go through as well, so I think we've totaled about 25 students that have studied. Have some gone on to university? Yes, and yes. We've had right. one student go on to study archaeology at Bournemouth University. We currently have two year 13s that are looking to pursue it as well at university level, and we have a couple of year 12s who, just within the last few months, are now starting to think that it's what they would like to pursue. Um, but your achievements don't stop there, because I think you've done a little more than that. What else yes. have you persuaded the senior management team to do? Again, uh, I did say to my head teacher, next it will be GCSE, and he sort of gave me a raised eyebrow, but I have this September introduced GCSE Classical Civilization. I had over 50 students apply to study it for the first time. Um, I have a class of 32 students, and they're all so enthusiastic, and they absolutely adore every lesson. And we have a classics club as well for lower down, so years 7, 8, and 9, and we started looking at Latin as well as looking at ancient artwork, studying parts and extracts from the Iliad as well during their lunch times. And what would, uh, what would uh, perhaps the most excited students say about the benefits of learning classics for the first time? Any good anecdotes? I think so many of them are just so enthusiastic about it. They're going away reading books about it. They're watching TV shows. They're coming to me with so many different questions that it's really broadening their horizons and really thinking about what is open to them. Uh, one of the students I brought along today studies politics alongside ancient history, and he said that it helps it to make so much more sense how relevant ancient history is, despite how long ago it was, to our modern day whether it's through politics, history, or any other subjects that are stuff. I think as one of, the, one of our learned friends says earlier, it was as relevant then as it is now. Exactly, I couldn't have said yes. that myself. Yes, yeah, so perhaps we'll quote them. Um, <laughs> um, I think, um, and it's fantastic. Now, one last thing, because people are 
busting for a drink. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we've probably said enough. And four of the students are here, so you can quiz them yourselves afterwards. They're on the front row, and they all look reasonably presentable. Um, and I'm very glad, by the way, that you didn't, you didn't put Alexander away, because he's my grants and training manager at CFA. <laughs> and we're rather short-staffed at the moment. So, Harley, what, how, in, in a couple of words... How has CFA been helpful? Are we good at our job? It would not have been possible to do this without your help and support at all. I wouldn't have been able to do this and the students wouldn't be able to be studying it. So I'm eternally grateful. Yeah, and, uh, and it doesn't cost that much because we're good bang for buck. And I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.